All right, what's up, guys? We have an update to the crazy ass throttle drum bag. I get tap bear soft. I I think that if you guys check my first video, I think in the description below, I realized shortly after the video, I'm making things complicated. Why am I trying to get a pro in to fit in here when I can just use nine ball black talon or uh, what's the third one? I don't have it on hand. But anyways, there, there's actually other lightweight mags that are basically one to one of the you know TM base or Wii, whatever this one's designed for. But obviously this one came with the Wii, and my goal was just to lighten it. So what I did is I actually had an extra nine ball Neo mag, and the the reason why I went with nine ball is because you can actually just buy the shell itself. Um, like Alpha Airsoft, I actually have a shell itself, but I don't even know where the hell it is. I gotta look for it now. Garage is mess again. But anyways, so I ended up using the Neo, uh, Neo Mag. You guys can see it comes with the high flow, the gasket, and it's it's, it's a drop in. And I'm using the screw that came with the Neo Mag, but you can use the Wii one as well. Let me show you guys how much it weighs. And uh, you know, I learned a couple more things about it. <laughs> it's really funny, but this is just a. Uh, it's just a uh, um, like a, a pen, like a shell, like you know, for the pen. You can just so if you ever break this, like you know, trying to put it like a lightweight one in or something, just uh, we'll get a shell for pen and then do this cut right here. All right, it's just like a it's an angle cut right here. Boom, boom. Now, obviously, it's a little easier for me. I have a have a mill here, so I just milled it out. I would say, you know, you guys could probably attempt it by hand but be careful you could do a dremel you could you know then hand file it you could you could use also you know use files uh, the main goal why you have to do it is because you just you won't be able to fit this in here without cutting that part I originally I wanted to do black talon but uh, these are a little too rare so I didn't do it because this technically would be the lightest um, and I would have to check the, there's a wee high cap of mag that's plastic, but those are kind of scary. These, these were safe. The first batch was very good. The re, I stopped selling them because the second batch and third batch were just, they were leaking a lot. And it was costing me so much money trying to fix them. I, I lost so much money on that. So that's, that and that. So I don't want to destroy my black talent for this because, you know, once you mill this, uh, you know, BBs can kind of fall out here. So like, there's no going back. So I would say for sure if you're a, if you like main the tap drum, like it's your main thing, hell yeah, go buy yourself, do yourself a favor, go buy the nine ball shell. It is such a big difference in weight. And I, I'm so happy I did this. 114. That's with the, you know, the whole upper in here. There's no upper in here, just a, the valve. Big difference, 249.8 versus 114. You, you can, when you pick it up, this is lighter than TM, so it feels like, oh, TM's heavy as shit. Oh, Wii's much lighter, and now like, boom, now this feels like heavy as shit. So it's just so funny. So definitely highly recommend doing this. It's just a, a quick mod, really. It's, I would say it's simple. Um, you just need to get rid of this this side, that's the main thing. Okay. And then he also sent me this. Uh, from my understanding, people were sending me pictures on Facebook. Um, like I guess the old style was two Velcro patch and then also I have guys uh, local field that have the drum. It's two Velcro patch and that I, and that's when the, the small patch came in handy. I'm really glad he sent me this. I don't know if this is a new version or how they're, they're sold brand new because uh, I just like how this is done. It's clean, it's minimalist, it's not, you know, out there. I don't have to worry about if I pull off the patch on accident. You know, here's me thinking, oh, that's just how it came. <laughs> that's how dumb I am, but I just, okay, don't turn the, the mag upside down. <laughs> but yeah, so, drop-in, all right? It's, it's a drop-in. I didn't have to do anything, let me tighten it, and we're gonna just assemble it, and then we're gonna shoot a little, not too much, because I just actually spent all this time cleaning up. I've been doing a lot of projects lately. And then uh, my AIP loading nozzle already broke. 
So I'm back to the TM one. <laughs> All right, did we? Are we in? No, okay, we're not in. Okay, no, we have to we have to line up. Get lucky. I didn't get lucky this time. this up. But okay, I think we're in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right. About time, jeez. Spread it together. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of questions. Right now I'm just showing you that like the nine ball does work. So you can decrease the weight big time. And I like to me like this is a huge improvement. So hell yeah, do that. I also found out these, the one that this hooks into is a metal insert, so I'm very happy about that too. So I take it apart repeatedly, you know, it doesn't scare me because at first I thought it would be um, just plastic, but it's not. All right, let's get this guy in here. And then he also um, told me that like you can pre-wind it, which is good to know now. Now we'll just dry fire, and that will be, uh, I mean, not dry fire, obviously we got BBs in here, but it's not too much. And let's see if my Florida gun is working now. I went back to the stock TM. Let's, yep. Okay, then I hear the, I hear, it's like the, he told me to do it until you hear the clicks. Okay, where is my line? There we go. Uh, someone asked, like, why do I have this like really ridiculously long setup? Definitely don't recommend it, guys. Uh, it's just this. I had this before, like this stuff kind of existed. Um, like, I don't know if you guys have been airsofting quite a while. This is like how we did it back then. We actually had to tap our mags, like you know, manually. You know, we have to like drill them and then thread them, and then get these. These are not like custom made for airsoft like the new ones like cqb russian you can just take out the fill valve and put the screw in the fill valve that's like the new style i'm assuming this is the same it was okay yeah all right you guys get the point that's why i have these ridiculously long things it's just that's what i, what I did during my time and I've, I've had this compressor for quite some time all right uh the frame is, oh my god, it's, it's broken here now, so it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm trying to keep it running. <laughs> uh, Alright, right, I think you guys can say a bit. <laughs> this thing is just awesome, it really is. All right, definitely don't ever have it this long. It's not good. I, you can definitely feel the um, the flex on it when I do it. When I'm doing it, I'm holding, like I'm trying to hold the line up so it doesn't put any downward pressure. That's something I would be, you know, worried about. So try to keep this as short as possible. You don't want a lot of pressure on here. Uh, other than that, I think that's gonna be it for this, you know, these uh, the tap series. 
I'm glad I have it now because I got a lot of customers who have it. So now if they, you know, if they have it to say, hey, can you can you test it with the tap drum? Just what I have it. The only thing I, I obviously have to keep in mind is that this is a high flow valve. It's the Neo one. Not a big fan of it. And this is the nine ball gasket. So those will produce different um, results versus like you state say your traditional weed that it comes with. All right. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget, guys, you can buy the full auto blowback units at Tap Airsoft and also from me. Uh, thanks to everyone who supported the full auto blowback units so far. I really appreciate it, guys. All right, let's take it easy.